Praise the Lord. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. And season see your hands. You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. But you have chosen to call us your From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You called for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for happiness. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for happiness. You are God all by yourself. Lift up your voice. Give him thanks. Is God all by himself? Is God all by Himself, and is by His mercies we are not consumed. Give Him quite the thanks again for His power that has kept you alive. Receive all the glory, Lord God. I've done all things well. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Somebody again is at the verge of a major breakthrough. God wants to arise and put the, an end to the works of darkness. In Psalm 12, verse 5, it says, For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy. Now will I arise, see the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that profit at him. God is saying he want to put a smile on your face. He want to put a smile in your mouth. Why? Because of the prophet. Because of that enemy that have said, is there anything good that will ever come out of you? You have been going to church, carrying your Bible. You have been singing everywhere. But the enemy, they are laughing. They are saying, who is that God that will help you? God is saying, anyone that has scornfully despised you, they have scornfully despised your God, I decree the God of heaven will surprise you. There is a reply from God to you tonight. In any way they have scornfully despised you, I decree the God of heaven shall scornfully despise them. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are here tonight. You are saying, God, when will my turn come? Your turn, your turn has just come. That long breakthrough 
is coming your way tonight. You don't need to say amen to it. But I know the God that I serve. I'm very confident that there's a dramatic change coming for somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's a dramatic change coming for you tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. By the grace of God, we will be continuing our series that took off on Monday. Oh Lord, stop the error. Part 2. Oh Lord, stop the error. And from the scriptures, we saw in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 from verse 4. It says, if the spirit of the ruler rises up against you, leave not thy place. For yielding pacified great offense. Yes, an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which proceeded from the ruler. The ruler there signifies what? Demonic throne. It says, fully is set in great dignity, in great position, and the rich sit in low places. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. By the grace of God, it was established in our last prayer call that an error is a spiritual glitch. An error is when you are living an opposite life. When something is not correct, you know in your inside that you carry something that the world must see before you go. There is something that is growing in your inside. There is a passion that will not go away. Now, you can't express it. Prayerlessness is a sign of the spirit of error. The zeal of God's house is no longer in you. The word of God is no longer appealing to you. You are expressing abject poverty, a deficiency or imperfection in any area of your life. You are straying from the right course, inability to maximize your potentials, polygamy addictions, failure to be, to be in the right place at the, at the right time, life of regret, when you now become a shadow of yourself, all these are signs of error. And on Monday, we established the fact that their position was swapped. Their possession was swapped. And what was remaining was shame. If you notice in the same Ecclesiastes verse 6 and 7, you will see fully set what? In great dignity. In great position. And the rich sit in low places. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Their possession was swapped. Their position was swapped, and what was remaining is shame and reproach. But I have a good news for somebody tonight. Anyone that cares to listen, the scripture speaking from Proverbs chapter 6, from verse 30. He said, Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy what he saw when he's hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Tonight, the thief is be found. That thief that will be stealing from you, that will be stealing your virtues. Tonight, that thief, what? If is found already, that thief is be found. That thief of your life, who is a thief? Thief is that dream criminal that comes to your life up and down to manipulate things whenever a breakthrough is coming. Who is a thief? A thief is that darkness agent that I vow that your destiny will not find expression. Who is a thief? A thief is that dark altar in your father's house that is contending with your destiny. Who is a thief? A thief is that evil priest. Anyone that dared to rise in your family is being cut down. Tonight, that thief is found. Every thief that is contending with your destiny. Ziku taparana neruna zakura taluda. Ziku shakaradada. Every thief that I vowed that your destiny will not find the expression. I decree tonight that thief is cut down. 
I decree that thief is cut down in the name of Jesus Christ. If we look at the same scripture, Ecclesiastes 10, message translation, it says, if a ruler loses his temper against you, do not panic. God is saying that he has seen an error that is coming forth, that we should stand our ground. Cast not away your confidence, which has a great recompense of reward. Proverbs 30 from verse 30, it says, And the lion, which is the strongest among the beasts, and turn it not away for any. The lion is not the biggest, but is the strongest. That speaks of inner strength, capacity. Speaks of faith, boldness. It says, if a ruler loses his temper against you, do not panic. Why? Because a calm disposition quiets intemperate rage. Verse 5. Here is a piece of bad business I have seen under this head. An error that can be blamed on whoever is in charge. Immaturity is given a place for prominence. Why maturity is made to take a back seat? He says, I have seen unproven up stats riding in style. Why inexperienced veterans are put out to a pasture? A pasture connotes a land of covered grasses. He says, This error can be blamed to whosoever is in charge. And from scriptures, we understand that the devil is the God of this world. Not the God of the earth, because the earth is the Lord, but is the God of the world system. So we must get this in our head. He says, immaturity is given a place of prominence. A prominence speaks of what? Be easily seen. That means your glory is not covered. Why maturity, people with experience, is being made to sit? At the back seat. He said, I have seen unproven upstart rookies in experience. They are riding in style. They are riding in dignity. They are riding in horses. Why the experienced veterans are being put into a pasture? There is something God wants us to see tonight about a horse. God wants us to understand the traits of a horse. He says, you will see fully is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low places. I have seen Sabbath upon horses. A horse signifies a place of prominence. The state of being easily seen. That means your glory is, is glowing everywhere. You are here, you are, you are in a job that you know you are even more experienced. You have more experience than your boss. All these, are, all these are signs that there's an error somewhere or rather your horse is being stolen. But God is saying tonight that men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his soul when he's hungry. But if he be found, because the thief have been found, every lost glory I decree it restored. Every lost glory. They have stolen your glory. They have stolen your virtue. They have stolen your talent. They have stolen your skills. Every glory under my voice that have been perverted by the hand of God, I decree speedy restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, whether you believe it or not, I decree speedy restoration right now. I decree your glory restored, your marital glory, your financial glory, your ministerial glory, that of your wife, your children, our glory. I decree it restored, restored with speed, Restored with speed, restored with speed, restored with speed. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a reason God uses a horse. He says that I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants. That means their possession, that horse is not for them. It's not for the servant. It's for what? The princess. He said, I have seen servant in great dignity. That signifies position. Is for the princess. It's not for the servant. So they swap their position. They swap their possession. What is remaining is mockery, shame, and reproach. I decree that experience is over. 
that long age ordeal that will be tormenting your destiny, I decree tonight it is over. God wants to do something speedily tonight. God wants to do four major things to them who care to believe. God wants to do four major things. A thing that will move you where, from where you are right now to where you are supposed to be. Isaiah chapter 41 from verse 18. He said, I will hope rivers in high places. Fountains in the midst of the valley. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land spring of water. God is saying to us tonight, to you and me, that he wants to do four things speedily so that our life can find the expression. So that we can make haste to make destiny come to pass while we are still full of strength. God is saying, one, he will open rivers in high places. No, that speaks of new doors, opportunities and breakthrough. Number two, he's saying fountains in the midst of valley. That speaks of more than enough. That speaks of overflow in every area of life. Number three, God is saying that he wants to make wilderness in a pool of water. He, uh, he wants to make wilderness. He wants to make a pool of water in the wilderness. That change of status. Number four, he wants to make dry land spring of water. God is not a man that he should lie. Now he's not a man that he should come to repentance. As he said, we don't make it good. As he spoken, he must make it come to pass. So we must understand tonight, we must open our mouth as a trumpet. As we make a decree in prayers, every lost glory shall be restored. Shall this loud declare. Tonight we are taken off by God's intervention. It's God himself that will arise for us. Shall this loud declare. Say, by your intervention, O Lord. Let my departed glory be restored. That of my wife and my children, everyone under my voice, let all the glory that have been lost to the devil be restored now. Lift up your voice. O oh Lord, by your intervention, let all our departed glory be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, all our departed glory will decree be restored now by the power of God. By the blood of the sprinkling, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored. All our departed glory, I decree, be restored now. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The second prayer point goes like this By your intervention, O Lord, let all my captured blessings be released. That's what the scripture is saying. That the servant riding on horses, that speaks of blessing. It speaks of possession. Anyone that something has been stolen from you in the ninth time, you lost something so important. I decree in the course of this prayer, it shall be restored. Say by your intervention, O Lord, let all my captured blessings be released to me, be released to my wife, to my children. Over everyone under my voice, all our captured blessings, I decree be released, be released, be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Is somebody praying tonight? Lift up your voice, pray profusely, pray magnificently tonight. All our captured blessings be released to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Limpra ingru sikara tararuda, in kutara sinkura shararudalu, skinaru skinaru karadadu sikaranuta. I decree it right now be released to us. Eh? All our captured blessings, eh? captured testimonies, eh? captured breakthrough. I decree be released, eh? 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 be released. Eh? In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our third prayer point: By your intervention, O Lord, let all my delayed miracles and achievements manifest now. I read about a story of a man, Charles Spurgeon. In his book, he said, Delay is Satan's grand design for the rule of any believer. Delay, he said, is Satan's grand design for any believer. How do I know? Persons, some persons normally say that delay is not denial. That is not true. Depending on where you are going, Delay can be a denier, and a delay 
It's a destroyer of destiny. Look at the man at the at the, at the, at the pool of Bethesda. He was there for over 38 years or 38 years. There was no man to help him. 38 years from his life, what is remaining? So delay what can be a denial. Shout it loud and clear. Say by your intervention, oh Lord, let all my delayed miracles and achievements manifest now. In the name of Jesus Christ, command it to manifest all your delayed miracles, delayed blessings. I command it to manifest all our delayed, delayed testimony, all our delayed breakthroughs. I decree manifest now, manifest now, manifest now, manifest now, manifest now, manifest now. All our delayed testimony, I decree manifest now in the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Exodus chapter 2 from verse 23, he says, And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel sighed by the reason of their bondage, and they cried. And their cry came up to God by what? The reason of the bondage. Are you set to cry tonight to the king of kings? Are you tired of that situation? Are you desperate for a great change? This is your moment. Verse 24. And God heard their groaning. And God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Tonight, somebody's book is at the verge of opening. Somebody tonight, the God of heaven wants to remember you. The God of heaven wants to remember your children. Everyone whose destiny has been stand still. The enemy, they have bust you to a corner. Where now you can no longer move anywhere. I decree tonight every destiny that my voice that will be stagnated. I decree right now be released. In the name of Jesus Christ, be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. In the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture says, And the Lord shall punish Leviathan the crooked serpent. There is an ancient serpent in somebody's family tree under my voice. This serpent, whenever a fruit is about to come out from that tree, this serpent will jump down and pierce that fruit. That long ancient serpent that is sucking your virtue, is sucking your testimony, is sucking your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, I address that serpent right now. It is written for our God is a consuming fire. I decree, let that serpent in your foundation torment to your glory that of your children be roasted by fire be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ that long ancient serpent zakurana naruna skiratula zasakaratalu tau ikanu 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 branana zezukarutalu skitu karatalata shakanalu 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 be set on fire right now i address that black serpent appearing to you your dream be set on fire be set on fire be set on fire be set on fire every long age ancient serpent torment our destiny i decree right now because you by fire in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shout this loud and clear. Say, by God's intervention, all the wrong steps I have taken in life be corrected. You are here, you are a victim of a wrong step through bad friends. God is speaking to you right now. Say, stand in the ways and ask from the old path. Where is the good way and walk therein? There is a hot path you used to walk, but since you deviated, there is a weight of load upon you. I decree tonight, because God has revealed, let your steps be routed right now in the right direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, shout this loud and clear. Say, by your intervention, oh Lord, all the wrong steps I have taken in life be corrected. Be corrected. Every wrong step I have taken be corrected. Be routed in the right direction. Be corrected. Be corrected. We corrected, we corrected, we corrected, we corrected. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Psalm 9 verse 11. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the hidden be judged in the sight. Job 5.12. He disappointed. 
the device of the crafty so that the hands can't perform the enterprise. Every device of the crafty militating against your destiny, buffeting against your children. I decree right now it comes to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, it comes to a perpetual hand right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it comes to a perpetual hand right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall this prayer put out a clear. Say by your intervention, oh Lord, I walk into my breakthrough. I walk into my achievement. I walk into my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to declare it by your intervention, oh Lord. We walk into our breakthrough this month. By your power, it's our month of great help from above. We walk into our testimony. We walk into our breakthrough. By your intervention, we walk into it. We walk into it. We walk into it. Every one other my voice, I decree by God's intervention, you walk tonight into your divine breakthrough, your testimony, your breakthrough. You walk into it. Your children walk into it. Walk into it. Walk into it. Walk into it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Psalm 68 from verse 1 to 2. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate me flee before me. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at their presence. So we must understand that God wants us to succeed than we do ourselves. God wants to lift somebody up. Why? For his name's sake. God wants to put an end to that secret. Yes. Anyone other than my voice shall be crying secretly. I decree this week and open reward for good for you. My God shall reward you openly. Arise according to Psalm 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. He said for the set time to favor our has come. Here the set time is now. Because your time has come, I decree the remaining part of this month, your days of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, now begin to pray, O Lord, arise, favor me. According to your word in Psalm 102 verse 13, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon me for the set time. Favor me has come, O God, arise, favor me. In the name of Jesus Christ, as the month is coming to an end, O God, arise and favor me. Favor my children, favor my ministry, favor my calling. Anyone under my voice, I decree them favor, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ, as the month is coming to an end, O God, arise by your power, begin to favor us, begin to favor us, in the name of Jesus Christ, O God, arise, favor us, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Just say amen to these declarations. By the mercy of God, all your pending miracles, I command them right now, manifest. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Eh? By the mercy of God, all your doors of breakthrough be open. Be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the mercy of God, I decree your cup shall be filled. Your cup of testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eh? By the mercy of God, sweat and struggles in your life be terminated. Every spirit of sweat and struggle, I decree be terminated. Be terminated in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. God bless you. If you know something came true to you tonight, give God thanks. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please hold the offering in your hands by the grace of God. It's a prosperous ministry and I know that the King of Kings as middle of the fetal ground, whatever you are giving, I'm telling you, it's coming back to you in under food. Begin to speak to your offering, your tithe, your seed faith, whatever you are giving to the King of Kings, speak to it right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, I thank you again for these ones and the grace for them to give. I decree that seed blessed and productive for them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please, you can look at our giving platform on our Facebook page at Kingdom of the Rock International Church, or you can check our YouTube thumbnail. You can find it there. And I know whatever you are giving to, giving to God tonight, the God of this commission shall give in hundredfold. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's be reminded again that our prayer call line continues on Monday, the same time, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And the calling number is 781 448 
4406. And our PIN number is 27786. 27786. And by the grace of God, if you are around Fort Worth, Texas, please be our guest this very Sunday. Our glorious Sunday service is going to be very, very powerful. Our service time starts by 11 a.m. prompt. And I know that the God of this commission will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree the body part of this month blessed for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In our camp, in this camp, there shall be no death. In this camp, there shall be no sorrow. In this camp, there shall be, there shall, there shall be no pains. In the remaining part of this month, I decree that God of heaven shall do for us what we can do for ourselves. I decree in the remaining part of this month, advantage, advancement for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, concerning your finances, I decree dramatic change. I decree a turnaround testimony for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, there shall be no backlashing. I decree we are preserved. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Go in peace. Return with your testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you.